And we're going to talk about Ralph. You're going to hear a lot of things about Ralph. And uh, believe them all because he is one hell of a guy. Uh, I want to present to you uh, our good friend and neighbor, Congressman Dennis Hertel. Well, thank you, Tom. I see so many great friends here to honor our good friend, but you already know about all the help that he's given to so many Democrats, so many people in the community, so much time that he's given to all of us. When, uh, when Tom had all the public officials stand, all I could think of were all the spaghetti dinners that Ralph had for all those public officials. <laughs> because they all were once candidates, and they're still running for re-election, and Ralph is always there to help in any way possible, in any way possible. He's helped us all on legislative issues. He worked with me in the State House, uh, now in Congress. He's helped us all in campaigns, and we know how much he does for the community at large. But we've all been to all those different uh, spaghetti dinners. And I think everybody here has been to at least eight or nine. And Ralph is always ready to have one at the drop of a hat. He's had several for me for campaigns, and once we talked about one night having an Irish party, a St. Patrick's Day party, we were all excited about it, and we talked about what we're going to do. We're going to have green hats, and we're going to have green bunting, and what we're going to have to eat, and everybody had different ideas, and Ralph said, spaghetti, right? <laughs> well, that was all right, but when Howard Volpe, the congressman in Kalamazoo, talked about his son's bar mitzvah, Ralph offered spaghetti. <laughs> and we've accepted his offer an awful lot of times, but the one time my wife said no was on our wedding night 13 years ago. She said, no, we're not having Ralph's spaghetti for the wedding. <laughs> One time I went to 12 of Ralph's spaghetti dinners uh, in a week. And you know how hard he works. He has to make the sauce, the special recipe. And, and it takes him a while. And he works all night. And he's got other people to help him. And he works in the kitchen all day. And I went to 12 of those in one week. And some, some 500 people came to. Some only uh, 50 people came to because they didn't get the word out enough. So I went through the line. I was late at this, this 12th dinner. And I ate the spaghetti. And everything was great. And Ralph came over. He said, aren't you going to have second helpings? He felt bad. And he's disappointed I wouldn't have second helpings. And I saw him at every one of the 12 dinners. <laughs> so I felt bad about it. And I said, geez, I'm going to have to apologize to Ralph and maybe even have that second helping or take it home. So I looked all over for Ralph. And they said he's back in the kitchen like he always is working. I couldn't find him. I looked every place. I found him in a storeroom. He was eating a steak in the back room. <laughs> I mean, I was surprised tonight, and I haven't finished my dinner, but I'm going to, because I thought we were going to have spaghetti tonight. <laughs> Mondale says, where's the beef? You see, Ralph, you say, where's the spaghetti, right? <laughs> well, that's enough about the spaghetti, because we all appreciate it, and it's helped elect a lot of good Democrats. It's not only the spaghetti and the great sauce and the salad and the bread that comes with it. It's the fellowship. It's the hard work. It's the compassion, the caring, the giving of time the giving of himself. That's why we honor Ralph Labrada. Ralph. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, next, um, we want to present to you a man who uh, works with and uh, knows Ralph uh, especially well, Tom Turner, president of the AFL-CIO. Thank you very much, uh, Tom, to my good friend, uh, <clears throat> the spaghetti eating congressman, to um, all of the, my good friend, my blue eyed soul brother, his eyes not so blue, uh, the director of uh, Region 1, UAW, Prairie Johnson, and uh, Mr. Democrat uh, over there, Rick Weenie, Rick Weiner. <laughs> Rick, 
Rick says, I've been hanging around Bob Merkel uh, too long. <laughs> okay. All of the um, important people at the dais, and uh, you, the most important people, uh, belong to the uh, Democratic Club of Warren and uh, friends of um, Ralph Liberato, and I see, speaking of elected officials, I see one good friend of mine who sits on the uh, Sumter board uh, with me representing uh, Macomb County, uh, Diane uh, Kolakowski uh, sitting in the back and a lot of other good friends. Uh, I'm um, delighted to uh, be out here, Ralph uh, and uh, Mike Scazzari, uh, but uh, more or less, more Ralph gave me an offer that I could not refuse. <clears throat> and he says, I don't care where you are scheduled to be, uh, you know, tonight, uh, but you're going to be out uh, in Warren. Uh, they're honoring me, and you're going to uh, be there. So uh, I'm here. I want you to know that. And I think um, when we look at uh, Rick Weiner, who is um, chairman of our party, and you look at the um, success that uh, we had uh, on March uh, 17th, and I was kidding with him of saying that uh, this past Saturday, it's very unusual that, uh, you know, the Democrats in the 18th congressional district uh, throughout this state came together and elected, uh, you know, a slate of candidates uh, for Walla Mondale and whoever the others uh, may be uh, without uh, any uh, bloodletting. And I think uh, that says something uh, for Democrats. Uh, wouldn't you agree? <clears throat> And tonight, uh, you have decided that uh, you're going to um, elect uh, one of your own or honor one of your own as um, Mr. Democrat uh, tonight, and I thank um, all of you for that. Uh, it's not easy to uh, stand before you and uh, speak about a um, colleague uh, whom I have worked closely with over the years, and especially since uh, he became Secretary Treasurer of the Metropolitan Detroit AFL-CIO. Uh, my problem is that uh, uh, Tom Welch tells me that uh, I only have uh, time constraint here, and that's the problem that I have because of the uh, time allotment um, relates to all of the, uh, to tell you about the fine qualities that make Ralph uh, the warm human being that he is, despite uh, Dennis and Tom, uh, all of the uh, spaghettis that uh, he uh, prepared. And I want you to know, before I re met Ralph Liberato, I think I was weighing uh, something like, in my respectable weight, 195 pounds. Since I met Ralph, uh, I went up to uh, 215 pounds. <clears throat> now I'm down to about 208 with about uh, 10 more pounds uh, to go, and that's because I've stopped eating so much of uh, his spaghetti. And it seems to me that uh, I have never, I don't know about you, but I have never uh, seen such an unselfish uh, person uh, in and out of uh, the labor movement, in and out of the Democratic uh, Party, uh, as Ralph Liberato. He is always ready to uh, set aside uh, personal considerations, uh, if you will, so that he can help bring about the uh, success, whether it be social programs or whether it be uh, union goals. Uh, Ralph is the, um, as you know, the political director for ASME, and he practices uh, all the things that uh, he preaches. Uh, getting uh, deeply involved in the political uh, process of the Democratic Party at all levels, from uh, top to bottom. It was pleasing to hear that uh, you, the Warren Democratic uh, Club, uh, have joined with others uh, in this congressional district to uh, really elect um, Ralph as a Mondale delegate to the uh, National uh, Convention in uh, San Francisco. And that uh, in itself uh, says something. <laughs> Thank you very much. Our next speaker is one who is familiar to uh, most of us, uh, the uh, UAW Region 1 Director, Perry Johnson. <laughs> Tom, I keep losing my tag here. Let me say something to my brother uh, as I normally refer to him as TT. <laughs> 
I'm sure damn glad to see him. I was getting kind of lonesome up here. <laughs> You're really close to Eight Mile Road. <laughs> Tom just, Tom Wells just said to me, um, "You're close to Eight Mile Road." Well, I had some. <laughs> I had you um, something to say about that, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> first of all, from your warm applause, I wanted to say that um, eat your heart out, Coleman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I tell you a little, uh, I, there's a kind of strange thing uh, with uh, Coleman Young and myself. Uh, I've got to get away from you for a moment, young fellow. <laughs> Thanks. That there are some people uh, that, um, for some reason or another, thinks that Corbin and I look alike. Uh, I have had people walk up to me and say, "How you doing, Corbin?" And I says, "Well, you know, you may be carrying that just a little bit too damn far." <laughs> now, while I don't mind that in Detroit. That's south of Eight Mile Road. <laughs> I want the proper recognition when it gets north of Eight Mile Road. <laughs> Especially when uh, there is a curfew. <laughs> That's why I was so happy to see Tom <laughs> Turner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I am uh, pleased to be here, very pleased to be here. It is secure right now. Pleased to be here tonight to honor the Democrat of the Year, Ralph Liberato. You call him Ralph Liberato. I will call him Ralph Liberator. And the reason I call him Liberator is because, as I know him, Ralph has rescued a many Democrats from the clutches of the Republican Party. I'm even more pleased that uh, we aren't having spaghetti tonight. <laughs> Did you ever notice that wherever Raph goes, tomato sauce seems to follow him? <laughs> Incidentally, Raph's recipe for sauce is a close to God a secret. Colonel Saunders made millions with the secret recipe. Raph, maybe you should get out of the pasture business and into chicken. <laughs> Now, I can easily say that that's not a racial, uh, uh, ethnic slur or anything like that because uh, in some quarters I'm known as a Hawaiian. <laughs> it got to be all things. You know, when I used to run for election back in the local union, when it came, came time, we have, had a very large population of, of Polish people there. And at times I was known as Perry Johnsky. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You had to get the vote somehow or another. <laughs> or Perry Johnsonsky. I always got elected, believe me. Okay? But to tell you the truth, Rav, we, we are pleased that you could be here tonight between bingos. <laughs> and I hear that you have more bingos going than the Archdiocese of Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, Ralph, it is a real pleasure to be here to honor you, the hardworking and dynamic chairman of the Macomb Democratic Committee, who is also a vice president of the Metro Detroit AFL-CIO. You know, Ralph was a past president of Local 160, and that's a local of 
the uh, Region 1, the UAW Region 1, and he stayed on with the AFL when we went. Many of you know we separated uh, the AFL and, and the UAW and the ICAP programs separated some time, uh, some years ago. And now that we are together again, Rav, we are brothers once more, although in our hearts we never were apart. And let me congratulate you, Ralph, on your much-deserved honor tonight. We look forward to working together for a long, long time, for a long, long time. And just that I stayed in good grace with the big man over here, and Tommy ought to have bought his tickets, and he wouldn't have had no time constraint on you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It tells you something special about a Democrat when the state party chairman comes to pay his tribute. Rick Weiner. Thanks, Tom. This place brings back some, some fond memories for me, and I know it brings back some special memories for many of us. About a little over two years ago, a lot of you in the room and about 4,000 or 5,000 people who aren't in this room took part in a rally here for what was then to become the next governor of the state of Michigan, Jim Blanchard. That rally kicked off a successful campaign, not just in Macomb County, not just in the Detroit suburbs, but throughout the entire state. A campaign that brought not just the governorship to the Democrats, but pride to each and every one of us. So somehow I think it's fitting that those of us who were there, and for that matter, those of us who were only there in spirit, reassemble here tonight to pay tribute to Mr. Democrat, Ralph Liberato. You know, you can hear a lot of stories about Ralph tonight, probably a lot of jokes about him, some of them tasteless, most of them true, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no truth to the rumor, incidentally, that he did indeed invent spaghetti, but there is truth to the rumor that he, and indeed not the archdiocese, invented bingo. <laughs> thank heaven for bingo, and thank heaven for Ralph Liberato's bingo. I can only say this, and it's hard for me to be humorous about Ralph on the night of his tribute. Uh, it's easy most of the other times, incidentally. He is a generous chair, a hard-working chair, an active chair, and I can only say if that we had 83 county chairs like Ralph Liberato, the Michigan Democratic Party would certainly be a hell of a lot better off. So I'm proud to be here to pay my tribute to Ralph Liberato tonight. I'm proud to have him as a, an active county chair in the Michigan Democratic Party. And Ralph, I'm looking forward to going to you to San Francisco, with you to San Francisco as part of the Democratic delegation that will nominate the next Democratic President of the United States. Congratulations to you, Ralph. Next, um, I have the pleasure of calling on uh, the chairman of the 12th Congressional District, my chairman, Nancy White. Mercy. Thank you, Tom. Chairperson. Pardon. That I was, I was going to do it, but thank you very much, the chairperson. <laughs> I'm honored to be here tonight to be able to pay tribute to Ralph. Ralph has a habit with me. As you know, I'm a member of the MEA. And every time Ralph and I sit down together, he says, buddy, we got to do something about this. And Tom, I can guarantee you he's doing the job for Ask Me when he sits down with me. <laughs> Ralph has done. Um, a lot for the 12th district. As many of you know, we have had a voter turnout project um, and a voter registration project. And if it hadn't been for Ralph Liberato and the Macomb County Democratic Committee, it would not have been as successful as it has been. We are going to continue working together in 1984 to elect Walter Mondale as the next president of the United States. Thank you. Next, it's my pleasant duty to present Judy Locke, 
who is the uh, president, or excuse me. Where do I look here, Judy? Yeah, she's president of the Warren Education Association. I don't know whether spaghetti or weenies got the biggest laugh tonight. I was checking around on, on Ralph's uh, history and uh, asked uh, several people in the Macomb County area, how was it that Ralph Liberato got his start as the biggest spaghetti fundraiser king in Macomb County? And I was told about 12 years ago they had some dedication for you, Ralph, and as your gift, you received a set of huge pots and pans, and that's what got you on your start to being the spaghetti fundraiser in Macomb County. Well, I felt that the enough was enough and that uh, a man uh, that has done so much for the Democratic Party ought to be gotten out of the kitchen and onto the main floor. And so, having been a member of the gift selection committee for tonight, Ralph, I just want to share a little secret with you. Tonight, you're going to receive a set of brooms. <laughs> and on top of that, between you and me as unionists, I expect you to charge union rates for that. <laughs> on behalf of teachers, I want to thank Ralph Liberato for having been an advocate for education and education issues in this state. He has been a great mentor for us. For me personally, as a fellow Italian-American, as a fellow unionist, and as a fellow Democrat, he has been a shining example. Years ago, someone told me, if you want to be a Democrat, you got to love the people. And I think that Ralph Liberato is an example of that. He is renowned for working in the grassroots and doing the kind of grassroots work that if we don't all share in that grassroots work, we are not going to see successes and we're not going to be able to move the kind of democratic policies that help the working people and that help the people. And Ralph, I want to thank you for the love and the courage that you have brought to the people in this state through the Democratic Party. Next, uh, it's my pleasant duty to present Joyce Lalonde, chairperson. I got that right this time. Chairperson of the 14th uh, District Democratic Committee. Ralph, I've sat here tonight and listened to numerous people talk about all you have done for Democrats, the spaghetti dinners, the turnout of voters, the help that you've given in the kitchen. And I want all of these people here to know what you have done for the 14th District. As I took over as chair of the 14th District in February, by March, with Ralph's help and getting us started in a bingo, I was so far in debt that I cannot even see tomorrow. So Ralph, honestly though, with Ralph's help, he did help us in the 14th establish a bingo that we've been looking forward to establishing for a long, long time. And I really appreciate all the help that he has given us all the advice that he has given me as far as chairing this district. It's a new experience for me. And I just think it's a wonderful idea that we are honoring one of our own locally that we see and deal with on a daily basis. Congratulations, Ralph. I'd like uh, next um, to uh, call on a fellow that hasn't been in office nearly long enough. Um, he got elected to Kiss County office on the same day that I did. I haven't been there long enough either. George Paris. Thank you, Tom. Ralph and I go back to uh, a couple of years ago, about 30-some, when we were members of the United Democrats here in Warren. And Ralph, at that time, was the type of individual that gave of himself. He never sought public office from the viewpoint of uh, trying to improve and aggrandize himself, but he was definitely the epitome of a person who gave of himself to help others. One of the things that makes us separate 
and distinct from the Republican Party is that the Democratic Party gives of themselves to other people who are needy and not like the Republicans to take from everyone. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph Liberato has been taken from the Republicans and bingo. We've been taking some of them on the bingo deals that Stan Selecki has been running and we've been building up the Treasury and the Democratic Party. When Ralph became chairman, we were in the hole a few, a few million dollars. I think our deficit was higher than uh, Reagan's. It was close. But right now, we now stand better than Switzerland's. We have all those bank accounts in, in our treasury, thanks to Ralph. Ralph not only is the king of the spaghetti benders, not only is he the king of the bingos, he is also king of the Democrats. And I am proud that he's my friend and he's your friend. Thank you. And now, uh, with uh, your permission and with the permission of the um, chefs, we're going to hold dinner for just a little bit while we hear from our very favorite Senator Carl Levin. Thank you very much, Tom, and I appreciate all of your understanding and uh, waiting out there very patiently for dinner for the 45 minutes or an hour that I'll be speaking to you. <laughs> you can laugh, it's not true. I, there was a, a few nervous laughs back there. Um, I was wondering what happened to Ralph. Where, where's Ralph? There you are. You showed up at your own roast. Okay. Um, let me just very, very briefly uh, mention a few things to you. I, number one, I wanted to be here tonight, just to say hello to Ralph. To, I'm delighted that you're honoring him. Uh, it's so appropriate. Uh, he's been so helpful to so many of us over the years. Uh, I only wish that I could stay to watch him uh, roasted. Uh, it happened to me a few months ago, and uh, it's enjoyable, I've got to tell you. Just make sure you digest your dinner well before you uh, get on with the program. Secondly, I wanted to thank all of you, uh, many of you in this room, uh, as I look around, uh, have been extremely helpful to me. Uh, I've become sort of a son of Warren over these last few years. Uh, we've opened up a, an office in Warren, as uh, you know. Uh, I don't know if Janice Quads is here, by the way. Is she here? Yes, she is. Where is she? Janice, will you stand up? Janice runs our office there. Um, it's at, it's at Hoover and 11 Mile Road, by the way, for those of you who don't know where it is. Uh, we spent a good part of uh, uh, today, by the way, at TACOM this morning, uh, getting into some of the intricacies of uh, defense procurement. Learned a lot. I'm one of those people that believe we don't know a whole lot in Washington, and we've got to really come to the grassroots to find out how things really work. And today we did a, a rather unusual thing. The Senate Armed Services Committee this morning came to warn and I think it's the first time there's been a committee hearing of the Senate Armed Services Committee in Michigan uh, with anybody's memory, and I was able to persuade the committee that we ought to come out to TACOM and to hear firsthand uh, what it's like to work with the various regulations, to work with contractors and defense procurement. And so uh, I've become uh, very much attached to Warren for all kinds of reasons. We've done very well by the tank line, which is so critical to this part of Michigan. Uh, I must say that uh, for a president who claims to be uh, so strong on defense, uh, we find that every single year that he has cut tank production, and we've had to reinstate it in the Congress. It's taken a heck of a lot of effort. We've had the cooperation of Dennis and a whole lot of other folks, Congressman Hertel and others, in order to do this, but it is important to the uh, security of our country uh, that we do have a full production uh, of those M1 tanks. Finally, let me just say a word about politics. Uh, today, this is a year that we have our chance, again, to make a statement. Now, I happen to be running for re-election, uh, which uh, is, of course, somewhat on my mind, and many of you have already uh, contributed and participated in various ways. But uh, I'm going to be outspent. Uh, you're looking at the only incumbent United States senator that is going to be outspent. Uh, the Republicans have decided that this is target number one. Uh, I have been a critic of this administration for many reasons. I'm proud of that record. I'm not going to run from it. I don't think the administration has been good for the northern industrial states. And I think it is favored. 
I, and I think it has favored wealthy Americans at the expense of working people. So this is a year that we, as Democrats uh, and as Americans, are going to be able to make a, a statement about where we want this country to go in the next four years. I'm going to be part of that effort. I'm going to be part of a team. I look at the words uh, on this uh, program that are printed so boldly, uh, which is what we are and must be. Uh, we're not always united, uh, but if we're going to win the election this year in Michigan and in the country, uh, after we slug it out in the primaries and have our usual family dis uh, differences and disputes, we've got to pull together. Otherwise, a, low, a whole lot of favorites of ours uh, are not going to make it. So there's three beautiful words on that. Well, I better add a few more because Ralph Liberato's name is on the front cover too. But there's three beautiful words at the top of this front page. Uh, your name, United Democrats of Warren, printed boldly. Those are all important words. And there's no more important word this year, 1984, than the word united. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm going to um, just comment on the history of uh, Carl. Carl, you travel in good company. Uh, the last uh, senator to do that job at the tank plant was Harry Truman. Really? Really. I thought you'd like to know that. With that... Uh, and that's Bob O'Leary who's going to run my <laughs> campaign in the back of the room. Well, we better make good use of Bob. Uh, we're going to excuse you, Carl, and we really appreciate you uh, coming to visit with us. Thank you. Thank you. We're very proud of you. Thank you. Are the cooks ready? Is the kitchen ready? Do we know? <laughs> whenever, they're, whenever they're not, well, if, if they're not, we'll uh, check. Are you, are you ready out there? Okay, then let's let's get on with the program. Then while we're waiting, uh, pardon? Okay, well we can um, we can handle that. Um, I uh, first uh, want to take this opportunity to uh, welcome uh, Governor Blanchard's representative. Connie Shorter, who is a uh, resident uh, of the county, lives over here in Sterling Heights. It is truly and indeed a pleasure to represent the governor here tonight in honoring a, a very special individual to Macomb County. I know if the governor were here tonight, he would probably also mention a couple other special people. I know I saw Representative Dennis Dutko here tonight. Um, don't know if Lloyd Weeks is here or Art Miller, but I, I know the governor would say if he were here tonight there, you, this organization, the city of Warren, is extremely fortunate to have the courageous leadership that we've had in Lansing. And I know the governor strongly supports them. And I would like now, and I will try to make it brief, Tom Welsh told me I better or I was in trouble. Governor Blanchard has issued a State of Michigan Executive Office, or excuse me, special tribute to Ralph Liberato. I will try to share the words with you. During this dinner sponsored by the United Democrats of Warren, in honor of Ralph Liberato, the citizens of Michigan and I extend our sincerest best wishes and appreciation to him for his countless contributions on our behalf. His many years of dedication and commitment have made a significant contribution to the quality of life in our state and we are fortunate to express the praise and recognition that he so richly deserves during this celebration. Ralph Liberato's involvement with Democrats throughout Michigan has contributed to the party's growth, development, and its efforts to improve our society. His genuine sincerity and compassion is not only truly commendable, but also serves as an example for all people to emulate. Our nation has continued to grow into one of mutual respect and appreciation for one another through the contributions and chivalrous actions of individuals like Ralph Liberato. His untiring and unselfish efforts reflect his keen awareness 
of the need for all citizens to be actively involved in the political process so that responsible and accountable policies can be formulated for the betterment of humanity. Ralph Liberato's career in public service has earned the respect and admiration of his colleagues, elected officials, and the citizens of our state. We want him to know of our genuine appreciation and gratitude for all he has freely given. I spe pay special tribute to Ralph Liberato as he receives the Democrat of the Year Award. I wish him and his wife and his family all the success, happiness, and beauty that life has to offer. Signed, James J. Blanchard, Governor. Uh, I'd like to um, next call on uh, Lou Birdie. I would like to have uh, the members of the council and Carmela Sabaw, the uh, uh, county clerk, or excuse me, the uh, city clerk, uh, join in uh, a presentation. Would all of you folks uh, come forward? And Lou, with your, where are you at? Ronald? Thank you, Tom. Good evening to you, Ralph. Let me uh, name several of my associates who this evening could be here. Our city clerk, Carmela Sabah, Councilman uh, Jim Fouts, Councilman Fred Sabah, Councilman Ron Bonkowski, and Councilwoman Diane Sabo, who was here earlier. Ralph, it's my pleasure to present to you this resolution from your Warren City Council. I'm not going to read it because actually this is a symbolic resolution. The symbolism is really rather clear. It represents the great affection and the high personal regard that we hold for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. I would like I would like to call now on Betty Slindy and the members of the Macomb County Board of Commissioners to come forward. Dick and Diane and... And the county clerk, please. Mrs. Miller. On behalf of the Macomb County uh, Commissioners and uh, the County Clerk Edna Miller, I would like to present Ralph Liberato a resolution in appreciation for everything he's done for the Macomb County uh, Commissioners, for Macomb County, and for the people of Macomb County. I'd like to say one, one thing here tonight, too, uh, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners. Much has been said about Ralph's commitment to uh, labor and, and politics, but Ralph has served for about 10 years on our Parks and Recreation Commission, and he's had a deep commitment to that Parks and Recreation Commission, and I'd like to congratulate him on that, for, for that, too. Thank you, folks. I think it tells you something about Ralph for these folks to come out for this occasion. Next, um, where am I at here? If I get lost, bring me back. In. Lloyd Weeks has a House and Senate resolution, and I want the members of the House and Senate that are here to come forward. I know that Art Miller and uh, Gildanello are here, and Dennis Dutko. Where is Lloyd? Everybody's here but Lloyd. Oh, here he is. Here he comes. Ralph, some of the people, uh, I had a couple of people take a look at this, and uh, they said it included some, uh, some things that had not been included in some of the other resolutions that you had gotten over the years. So, but instead of reading it all off, 
uh, will present this to Ralph, and it'll be up here for those who uh, want to come up and take a look at it. So Because um, Ralph has uh, provided the kind of light that he has uh, for uh, so many of us, we decided we ought to, you know, we plugged in? See, Ralph, when you touch that little lay leaf, it lights and it turns it on and off. And uh, that's a little present from uh, my staff and myself. And as I, you were out, and I said we decided it in our usual democratic manner. Yeah. <laughs> That's, we got to get this over here so you can see Ralph. I'll try not to. My daughter builds these things. You had to keep the business in the family. <laughs> All right. Um, I next want to call on Stan Skozen from the Roseville Dems, if I can get uh, Stan uh, out here. And uh, Stan is not going to make an attempt to uh, climb these steps. He's going to uh, walk right down here in front, and uh, Ralph is going to uh, lean over and receive this award. <coughs> Ralph, I'll walk a little slower than you, so you'll have to bear with me. <clears throat> <clears throat> On behalf of the Roosevelt Democratic Committee, sure. we'd, like, we'd like to present you with a plaque, and it says, in appreciation of so many years of service to the Bowman Democratic Committee, and you've helped our club so much that so we thought we would present you with the plaque on your behind uh, you. Thank you. Next, we have a uh, presentation from the Shelby Dems by Bill Finland. Uh, this is for Ralph from the Shelby Democratic Club for being such a hard worker for all the right causes. And thank God that Ralph is for all the right causes, because have you ever tried to get something through one of his meetings if he wasn't for the cause you were working for? <laughs> if he's on your side, he knows how to get it done, and I've never seen anybody pare away the bull, the fat, the waste work, and get the job done. And there are a lot of people in this room who can do it well, but nobody does it better than Ralph and boy, what a leader. We appreciate him. Thank you. We're getting there, folks. Next, I want to call on uh, Ralph's longtime friend, Joe Ambrose. Thanks, Tom, and thank you everybody here in appreciation to Ralph Liberato. I know Ralph approximately about 28 years or maybe a little bit longer. I can remember the time when in this county it was controlled exclusively by the other party. I don't want to mention them because this is a Democratic dinner and I don't want to upset you. But at one time they told us Macomb County was the place for all the R's, and I said, bull. And that's when we started our Democratic Club here in Warren. And at one time, our club was so grateful and so large that nobody dared not run on a Democratic ticket here in the county. They came to the United Democrats of Warren to get their blessing. Years ago, an old Macomb, uh, Macomb County board met down over at the Colonial Hotel, wore gas masks and everything else you could wear. Because once you pass that place, you know we're going to come back out again. And that's where we've been a lot of our meetings. And Ralph done a very good job. And we are proud tonight to present Ralph at this dedication. And Ralph, 
in recognition to Ralph Liberato for having been selected as Democrat of the Year of 1984, in appreciation for the many years of service to the city of Warren, the county of Macomb, and the state of Michigan, presented on this day, the 18th day of April, 1984, with deep relation, the United Democrats of Warren. Ralph, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to uh, ask uh, Mary Marcinac from the Sterling Heights Dems. She's here someplace. Where are you at, Mary? Stan corrected us from the Sterling Heights Goodfellows. Ralph, because you are a giving and caring person on behalf of the Sterling Heights Goodfellows, from the kids, thank you. I believe uh, that that uh, completes all of the presentations, and uh, now uh, we're going to allot uh, Ralph uh, about an hour and a half to respond. It's not going to take that long, buddy. You know, when he first talked about the dinner this evening, honoring me as a Democrat of the Year, I thought we were talking about the city of Warren and the United Dems of Warren, just a small gathering. And I took my time today. I even said to Tom Turner, because we had a meeting of the AFL-CIO this evening, I says, Tom, I can still deliver the minutes, leave about 6.15 and get there in time at 7 o'clock had no idea when I walked in here tonight that there'd be so many of you that I've known for so many years in my family, and I'm happy to see them here this evening. I'd like to say something for the educators that one of the reasons my wife is not here, she may be here a little earlier or later this evening. Her name is Dell, but she's in class tonight. She'll be getting out about 9.30, and I've gone back to school. I'm in my senior year toward a bachelor, and I want to say that I uh, really have an awful lot to say about education in the state. My son has gone back to school. Uh, he's going to become, uh, I forgot the term, but working in ultrasound. So more and more of us who have missed the opportunity in the earlier years of our life to go to college, we have an opportunity now to go because of the new programs that are there and the things that are being done and the support by a governor of this state who believes in education. So I just wanted to say that to Nancy, to Joyce Lalan, and to Judy. It's, it's beautiful the way the system is working. If we keep working together, we're going to even do better into the future. I just want to let you know that. <clears throat> the sneaky people in Warren even went out to my secretary in, this, in Lansing, who's here this evening. That really surprised me because I called about 3.30. And I usually check with the office to see if there's any messages. And they wouldn't tip me off on where she was. And so I said, I wonder if she's gold bricking today. I'm going to have to talk to her tomorrow about it. <laughs> and she walks in here this evening for this, you know, tribute that the Warren Dems have been paying me. And I'd like to introduce Eleanor Jones, my secretary. <laughs> Eleanor. I'd like to also introduce to you members of my family, my daughter, Lynn Liberato. Where's Lynn? <clears throat> Lynn is on a cameras here this evening. She has a degree in mass communication. We're trying to do something. 
with television into the future for the Dems of this county and also for the labor movement. Along with her is a technician, um, Ken Reed. Ken. And Cindy Hoffman from the commission here in Sterling Heights. One of the persons that's helped me a lot over the years is retired now from Chrysler Corporation. It's my brother Charles. Charles, you want to stand up? My sister and her husband, Mr. and Mrs. Angela Lafredi. My son Dave, that's always out helping me with that so called spaghetti, but he's getting a little tired of it so he doesn't come around too much. Dave. <laughs> My other two daughters were not able to be with us this evening. Uh, one is in Canada, the other, I think, is somewhere in Dayton, Ohio, uh, with her husband at a conference. Uh, but I, I remember the last time, 12 years ago, when he had a birthday tribute to me. and got me started on all the pots and pans because I used to always uh, yeah, I used to always go out and borrow pots and pans from local 160 of the UAW. They're the only ones that had them. I'd like to say thanks to Perry Johnson of the UAW, Tom Turner, who I work with very close all these years. Uh, been terrific. Terrific to work with and I appreciate it, Tom. The only thing is when we go back to the merger, we might separate into separate counties and I don't like that because I love working with Tom. Where's he at? He Okay, I'll catch him. He went to the bathroom. See, I started something. <clears throat> if, you think, if you think that's funny, at the last Jefferson Jackson Day dinner that we had, they were looking for the governor, and that's where he went, is at a bathroom. <laughs> and I haven't eaten tonight, but I had a couple of these um, rum and Cokes, and they just worked on me overtime, and I had to go, and I said, Tom, I don't care how you tell jokes, I'm going. <laughs> it's all, but I feel pretty good now. <laughs> You know, in the county, you've heard a lot of nice things being said about me this evening, but you now they weren't things that I've done all by myself. All of the clubs, all of the Democrats, the work that's going into this. I work very close with Bob Merkel of the UAW, um, Nancy White. So uh, just there's so many of them that I just can't talk about them all. Now I'd be here all evening telling you all the contribution that they've made toward the success in this county. And when Governor Blanchard ran last time, it's the first time in 20-some years that we ever brought a majority of Democrats in Macomb County and elected that governor, and that's a record. Let me tell you, we're going to keep that record up into the future. The clubs, I'm going to talk about all the clubs. They're really active, really doing some work for us out here. We have the Roseville Club, the Warren Democrats, we have the Sterling Heights, the North Macomb, who have been telling me, get that spaghetti recipe in our book and I'm going to get it for you. And Clinton Township, uh, Shelby, uh, let me see, St. Clair Shores, uh, Harrison. I'm trying to get them all, but you know, I haven't got all the notes. I just want to tell you, there are more Democrats operating here. And if we can get that vote out, we're going to do a terrific job for Mondale in 1984. Um, <clears throat> it's the first time I ever made notes. I usually get up and sit down very quickly because I believe in what you know, Hubert Humphrey said a few years ago when he was running for president, the most rallies are 10% recreation and 90% politics. He said, well, I'm going to turn that around and have 90% recreation and 10% politics. And that's what I want to do here this evening. I don't want to stay up here too long. But I just want to give recognition to all who have been here and the work that they've done. The committee, I'd like to say to Larry Rocca, Patricia Bill, Carl Pezzamenti, Nada Gerby, Joe Ambrose, and Marie Koss, thanks very much for the work that you've done in putting this together this evening. And let's give them a big hand. <clears throat> the Honorable Carl Levin, my good friend, Dennis Hertel. Uh, you know, he didn't know he was going to run for Congress until we had an AF of LCIO convention. And we said, that's the favorite candidate. And that's when he began to run, and he was elected. And we've got one heck of a congressman in that area. <clears throat> I hope I haven't missed anybody, but I believe in that 10% speeches and beyond that into recreation. Again, I want to thank the United Democrats of Warren, something that I really didn't expect, the tribute that they've paid here this evening to me, and I just want to say again, it's everyone together doing the thing, and that's what's going to give us our victory in November 1984. Thank every one of you. I love you very much. <clears throat>